Right, the families of nine service members who were killed in a training accident near San Clemente Island last year are now filing a lawsuit. And Fox 5's Jason Sloss has more on who they say is responsible for the Marines' deaths. Tomorrow marks one year since the deadly tragedy. Today, a difficult and emotional news conference. Attorneys with victims' families announcing they are filing a lawsuit against BAE Systems, the company that manufactures the amphibious assault vehicles, or AAVs, the Marines were training with. Attorneys say the AAVs have a design defect that led to the drowning of eight Marines and a sailor. We are not suing the military. In fact, quite the opposite. We are hopeful that the military joins in what we're asking for, which is safety modifications. We don't want another AAV going in that water until there's a way out for our servicemen and women. They were kids and they were put in a death trap. July 30th last year, eight Marines and a sailor from Camp Pendleton were killed during a training exercise off the coast of San Clemente Island when their AAV took on water and sank after leaving shore. Attorneys say the service members were trapped inside the AAV for 45 minutes because they were unable to open the 5,000 pound cargo hatch door. Attorneys say BAE Systems has known about the defective design but did nothing to fix it. A military investigation revealed the AAV were in horrible condition and found the battalion was not properly equipped or trained. With the lawsuit, attorneys say they want safety modifications to current AAVs and the ones coming down the line. Meanwhile, grieving families express the pain they have endured over the past year. He's my only son. He was my pride, my little guy, mama's boy. You know, he's, he meant the world to me. So when this occurred, it was just devastating. And I don't want another mother standing at a door at 7 a.m. with two casualty officers telling her that her son is missing. And you have no idea why. Why is my son gone? Why was he not kept safe? And we'll have more about the lawsuit reaction from families and why they say the safety changes need to happen now. Coming up later on the Fox 5 News at 4. From Camp Pendleton, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.